Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this diaper cover for baby girls between three and six months old. Now, when I uploaded this tutorial last week, many of you asked me to make the matching diaper cover, so here it is. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the link for the matching little bonnet, the matching little dress, and the matching baby booties. Okay, so I hope you like it, and without further ado, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. I'm using Super Soft Baby Double Knit James Seabread. If you're in the U.S., you can use any number three baby yarn. Okay, so to begin, I have eight chains. Into the second chain from the hook, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next, and so on. Here I'm just going to work one single crochet on each one of the chains until I have a total of seven single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now turn, chain one, and here we're going to work single crochets beginning on top of the first single crochet, insert your hook through the back loop and make a single crochet. Here, we're always going to go through the back loop. This is going to be the waistband, so we want this to be a bit stretchy. So we're going to make one single crochet on each one of these single crochet, like this. That's five six, seven. Now turn, chain one, and repeat. Into the first single crochet through the back loop, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next, and so on. This is how we're going to continue until we have the length that we need. I'm not exactly sure how long that is going to be or how many rows, but continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the waistband. I did a total of 72 rows and it's measuring about 38 centimeters, which is about 15 inches. Make sure that when you measure it, you don't stretch it uh, since that is how I measured mine. Okay, so here we're going to join both ends. So here we're going to insert our hook into this stitch, grab this loop, bring it through the front and chain one. Now into this same stitch here, insert your hook back again and into the first single crochet back here, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Now insert your hook into the next stitch and into the second single crochet and make a slip stitch. This is how we're going to join both ends, so continue and I'll meet you here once this part here is done to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished joining both ends and this is what it looks like. So now here we're going to turn this like this and we're going to chain one. Now here we're going to do half double crochets for this first row. So insert your hook here to the side and make your first half double crochet. Now to the side, another half double crochet, that's two. And right in the center, right here, this is where both rows join. So right in the very center, insert your hook there and make a half double crochet, that's three, and into the next stitch right here, make two half double crochets, one and two. Here we're going to work increases for this row. So again, right in the center, insert your hook, make a half double crochet to the side, half double crochet, that's two, in the center again, that's three, and to the side, in this one, you're going to make two half double crochets like this, see? So we do one, two, three, and into the fourth, two half double crochets. Again, right in the center, make a half double crochet. That's one to the side, two in the center, three, and into the fourth, two half double crochets, one and two. Continue like this for this row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we did half double crochets uh, with increases. So here at the end of this first row, I have a total of 90 half double crochets. Now to finish, we're going to go here to the side and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the first row with 90 half double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain three and turn. 
Now into this space, if you pull right here into this gap, I'm going to make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Here in this second row, this is all we're going to do. We're going to make these fans separated by three half double crochets. So to make your next fan, you're going to count one, two, three, and into the fourth right here, make a double crochet, double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth, another fan. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this for this second row, and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 23 fans. To finish, we're going to pinch here the third chain right there and join with a slip stitch. Now, for the fourth row, make a slip stitch on top of the next, double crochet and a slip stitch inside the chain one space. Now chain three, inside this same space make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. Now jump to the next fan inside the chain one space, same thing, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this for this third row. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 23 fans. Again, from here on, we're always going to have 23 fans. So to finish this row and all the rows to follow, just go here to the side where we have the three chains or on into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. Now to begin each row from here on, you're just going to make a slip stitch into the next double crochet and a slip stitch inside the chain one space. Now chain three, Inside this space again, make a double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. So here we're just going to repeat the same thing we did on the third row, which is just fans. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So continue like this. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this part here. Now I did a total of 11 rows and it's measuring from here, the top of the waistband down to the last row. It's measuring about 17 and a half centimeters, which is about seven inches. Now here I just finished my row, uh, did a slip stitch here into that third chain, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to divide this, um, the legs. So what I've done here is, this is where we finished. So I skipped one fan and in between these two, I put a stitch marker. So between this stitch marker and this next one, I have 10 fans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then between these two stitch markers, I have one fan. And then between this stitch marker and this one here, I have 10 fans. And right between these two, there's two fans. So this is the first fan and this is the last fan. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook into the last fan right here, grab this loop, bring it through the front and chain three. One, two, three. Now inside this same space here, you're going to make two more double crochets. The three chains counts as one double crochet. Now we're going to jump to the first fan, this one here, and do the same thing here. We're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. Now we're going to go right here, right between this fan and this fan, right where I have the stitch marker. I'm going to turn this like this and I'm going to make three double crochets here. One, two, three. Now I'm going to skip this fan and right between these two fans where I have the stitch marker, I'm going to make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now turn again. We're going to join here to the third chain with a slip stitch. Now make sure that you leave a nice long tail here so that we can sew this little hole that is going to be left here. So make a slip stitch, cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. Now, this yarn that I have here that's um, 
that I have left, this is what I'm going to use to sew this gap that's here right in between. So this is how we're going to divide the legs and that's what it looks like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go here into this first fan, right there, grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain three, one, two, three, and into this same space here, make two double crochets, including the three chains. I have three double crochets. Now jump to the next fan and do three double crochets. Here I'm just going to continue making three double crochets inside each one of these fans until I come to this fan. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other end. Up to here I have 11 fans, so we're going to make one more fan here and one more fan here. So here, insert your hook where I have this stitch marker and make three double crochets. That's 12, and then right in the center, right here between these two, make another three double crochet. So that's 13 fans. Now here to finish, join to the third chain right here and make a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the this first row. We're going to start counting rows here. So let's make this the first row. So here for the second row, insert your hook chain one and insert your hook into this space between the three chains and the first double crochet and make a half double crochet here. In this row, we're going to make half double crochet. So into the next two double crochets, make another half double crochet. And then same thing into the next three double crochets, make three half double crochets and so on. For this row, this is all we're going to do. We're just going to work these half double crochets all around. Okay, so continue like this and I'll meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did half double crochets all around. Up to here, I have 39 half double crochets. We're going to add one more. So we're going to go right here, right into this um, gap there and make my last half double crochet. So now I have 40 half double crochets. To finish, we're going to go here on top of the first half double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. Now this row is done. Now for the third row, we're going to chain one and here we're going to work front post and back post half double crochet. So beginning into this first half double crochet, make a front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet. This is how I'm going to continue all around, just alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet. When you finish, you're going to join here to the side with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same row. We're going to do this for a total of three rows. So this would be the first row of front post and back post double crochets. So work two more rows and I'll meet you at the end of that third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I only did two rows of front post and back post double crochets. I did a third row, but it was too wide here and I don't want this part here to be too wide. If you want, you can do three rows. Um, like I said, I only did two. Now here, all I did was just join to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop. And this side here is done. Now we're going to do this other side. This is the back again. So we're going to insert our hook right here. This is where we have these three double crochets. So insert your hook right there and with the same yarn same hook bring this through the front and chain three Let's see. one two three now into this same space here make two double crochets now we're going to open this like this and right in the middle right here we're going to do three double crochets also One, two, three. Now we're on this other side. This is the front now. So right here where we have this stitch marker and I also have these three double crochets right into this space here, you're going to make three double crochets. One, two, Three. Now inside each one of these chain one spaces or inside the fans, you're going to make three double crochets. 
jump to the next one and do the same three double crochets continue like this all around this row i'll meet you here at the end we should have 13 fans of three double crochets each so i'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we did three double crochets inside each one of these fans. Now, I have a total of 13 fans. So to finish, just pinch the third chain here to the side and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this first row. Now, for the second row, we're going to chain one. And right here, right between the double crochet and the three chains, insert your hook and make your a half double crochet. Now, we're going to make one half double crochet for each one of these three double crochets that we have here so I have one two three and then again you're going to do three 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 and so on continue all around at the end of this row you should have 39 but we're going to add one extra one right here in the middle so I'll meet you at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next okay I'm here at the end of this second row in this row we did half double crochets all around I have 39 half double crochets up to here so we're going to add one extra one so right here right in the middle we're going to make our last half double crochet so now I have 40 half double crochets so to finish go here to the side and front on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for the next row we're going to do the two rows that we did here front post and back post half double crochet so chain one and this first half double crochet work a front post half double crochet the next one back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet and so on here you're going to do one more row so when you finish just join here to the beginning with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing front post and back post half double crochets now i know a lot of you have um, a hard time doing these front post and back post half double crochets so what you can also do is just maybe continue with the half double crochets and do two or three rows of that instead of front post and back post half double crochets and i think it should come out um, nice too so continue and i'll meet you once this part here is done like this to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making this other side here all i did was after i finished my last row just join to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done now here where we had um, that gap that i told you all i did was make slip stitches i'm not going to show you it's very easy we started here on this end and then and then i just uh, joined both ends by uh, making slip stitches and this is what it looks like so this part here is done as well so now let me give you the finished measurement so um he, from here to here not all around but just from here to here it's measuring uh let's see 18 centimeters which is about seven inches uh also from here to here right in the center it's measuring let's see 24 centimeters which is about nine and a half inches and from the top of the waistband down to the end here it's measuring 20 centimeters which is about eight inches so based on the on those measurements this little uh diaper cover or little bloomers is for a baby girl between three and six months so this completes this baby set uh, i know many of you requested the matching little um, baby bloomers or uh, diaper covers so here it is down here in the information box i'll leave you the links for the uh, matching little bonnet the matching little dress and the matching little booties okay so this has been today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time